All right, guys, and we are now on Slash Beast stage. So let's see. So, um, this is not actually part of the weakness path. The only reason I'm doing this is because X needs Slash Beast weapon to get his final armor piece for the armor. So, because that, to get the chest piece, you need the Slash Beast weapon to be able to get through um, a block in uh, Magna Dragoon Sage. So, because of that, we're going to here first. So, as you can see, X is taking the lead, which is very interesting. Um, it seems this elbow is suited more for X for all the enemies that are there. And Zero just has to just take care of them or take hits, basically. And X can just take care of a lot of rows of enemies at once just with his charge shot. Also, having the upgraded bluster does help X greatly because of the range that it has compared to his normal bluster shot before. It's a lot wider than it does lasting damage after it hits something, which is very helpful for X. So X is already at the mini boss and he literally just needs two shots to defeat this mini boss. It's crazy. And one, and two. Done. Like, so simple. And this is actually very interesting because now, X is in the place that Zero normally is in these couple of things. Zero normally has defeated the mini-boss right before X gets there, but now X has defeated the mini-boss and Zero just got to it. So it seems like the tables have turned now ever since X has got the buster shot. You know, he closed the gap when he came to Storm Owl and now he's in the lead on Slash Beast stage. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can hold this lead. Now, as I remind you, Right now, X does not have the weakness. This is right after doing Storm Out Sage. So the weakness for this boss is uh, Jet Stingray's um, weapon. So you destroy that um, that train so that you can get the heart piece. Uh, Zero is just facing people and just getting taking hits, not caring. Um, X is just dashing through the area. Now Zero has the mech, which it seems like actually Zero is doing a better job than X was doing just rushing through it. Oh, but he screwed up and forgot to hit it so he can get the heart. And he's not jumping. Oh, that's going to cause Zero some time. Now, X has got off the moving train, and he has to move on to get into another train. Oh, that was a close save there. He almost jumped into that gap. Uh, Zero is still moving on to the train. Oh, so Zero just got to the end of the train. First train stopping, and X just got into the other train where the boss is. So, man, X is just ahead of Zero, just... In every aspect of this, she's just ahead by a factor of basically that mini boss. And X is now at the boss as Zero just reaches the train. So it's just like the major objectives, X is just ahead in. I don't think Zero's gonna be able to take this. Alright, X is now gonna fight the boss. Let's get this started. Okay, so. Slush Beast is very interesting. Um, if you stand farther away from him, you usually throw out his uh, uh, twin, whatever it's called, I don't remember what it's called, with um, his, his, uh, the twin shot that he keeps doing, that, with X. But if you're standing close to him, he's more likely to just jump at you and dash at you, which you'll see when uh, Zero is fighting him. But X is already in the yellow, and Zero has not done too much damage to Slash Beast. A slash piece just jumping around Zero. Oh, and Zero just got hit by that. And X is done with Slash Beast, and Zero hasn't even gone to yellow. Well, that's a big gap. This just shows that, you know, that upgraded X Buster just does a lot, especially with the one I got. Um, there are two versions. I should have mentioned this in Storm Owl. Um, I got the technically the ultimate ultimate armor version, uh, not the fourth armor version. But this gives X finally a win. And Zero is with his wins that he has, so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens from now on.